Most people who buy the Mavic 3 are in their 60s and beyond. They've got plenty of disposable income. I, on the other hand, had to sell my house and some of my kidneys. But today we test the obstacle avoidance on the Mavic 3 Pro, which is what you're looking at right now. Now the Mavic 3 has multiple onboard wide angle sensors to help with obstacle avoidance. It's got APAS 5.0. So I wanted to do some tests from easy to difficult at the end to actually test the APAS in a controlled environment in my garden where we eliminate a lot of the variables that might skew the results and appear like it's avoiding an obstacle, but it's actually avoiding something bigger like a tree trunk nearby. So let's get started with some of these tests. Okay, this is the first test. It's supposed to represent a human being, that's the head and the body. If the Mavic 3 can't do this then we're taking this thing back. It should just bypass this smoothly, go around it, no problem. It's got a nice noise when you actually set it up. Just a low hum. If only the drone sounded like that when it actually flew that would be awesome but it's not that loud this drone so you won't interfere with your neighbors too much. So I pushed forward on the remote control and you can see the Mavic does slowly start to bypass. I was using Cine mode because I didn't want to crash it straight away. And it does start raising altitude in order to bypass those two barrels. It seemed to work pretty well. I lowered the altitude and wanted to check what it would do backwards. And it used those horizontal centers to actually do it backwards as well. Pretty impressive so far but this is a pretty easy first test. It was just increasing altitude and going straight over them. I was kind of expecting it to go around them like that, but I suppose to mitigate the risk, it might be looking at the building in the background there and saying, well, there's another risk back there. So let's just start raising altitude now so we can bypass that. So it kind of does make sense what they're doing. The bubble around the Mavic 3 is quite harsh. I'd love to see DJI give us the control in the app to actually change that bubble size so it can be a little bit less sensitive. Maybe it goes at a slower speed, but let's carry on with the tests. Power lines. A lot of people are kind of concerned about the new return to home feature, the smart return to home feature, in that it kind of, it doesn't work like the old one that used to go up like 90 meters and it would avoid power lines and buildings and then it would just come back to your return to home point and then just descend down. Well, this is about the thickness of a power line according to Google. It's some conduits. I'm going to stick this in the ground and I'm also going to sort of hover this in the air with some string between two trees and see if the upwards obstacle avoidance will actually avoid it. I can't imagine the Mavic 3 is going to have any problems with this, just looking at some tests I've done myself, but let's see. Yes, that's just, that's how it is. Power lines should come out of the ground. It's much safer that way. On my first attempt, I was in normal mode. I just wanted to see what I did if I floored it, and it seemed to work pretty well. I went a little slow on the second attempt because I just wanted to see what route it would take if it wasn't actually rushed, and then it looked like it tried to bypass me as well. The raised power line test. We're going to put the drone right underneath and see if we go upwards, if it does anything, if it crashes. I don't think it's going to. It's a good test. I think. It's in cine mode. It's doing a few. Okay, well, it got past it at least. So let's put this in sport mode so that I can maneuver it underneath. Let's go a bit to the left. Oh man, I'm scared to do this. And let's go upwards. Whoa, that's way too... At this stage, I didn't Why want to push too hard anything? on the control sticks because it would damage the entire drone. There we go. Luckily, there were just a few scratches so on the propeller on this one. Let's go up again. And this time it actually worked. Okay, so the first time it failed, the second time it worked. So I suspect it's failing because it's probably got a couple of little blind spots there, you know, it can't make all the decisions for you. Obstacle avoidance is not really a substitute for being an idiot, but advanced return to home, I think DJI need to go back to the old one that I think it bypasses to that at night when it can't do advanced return to home, but I really don't trust the, at least the top sensor when there's that little blind spot and I believe the power lines were kind of like over there so these cameras can probably only see at a certain angle and these ones probably didn't pick them up either so it's kind of this area here where there's a blind spot which that could be ugly if there was a power line and you were returned to home and the thing goes upwards and 
hits some power lines or whatever a tree we got problems DJI but this is still beta firmware you know it's an expensive drone though let's carry on with the tests some people are going to ask me why I didn't test the downward with the fake power line so let's do that as well just maneuvering the drone into place so we can test that downward facing sensor and see what it does if I push down on the sticks and let's see what happens if we descend no it does not want to descend so that's that's good it's moved out the way let's try again i thought this was a good time to test the forward facing sensors with that fake so, power line so i'm just edging the drone closer because from what i can see it's oh, not seeing the conduit on the line also i was in cine mode and obstacle avoidance was set to bypass so what I think is happening here is the measurement range and detection range is 0.5 to 200 meters. I think if it hasn't seen an obstacle already and you are flying close to it, it won't see it because it's not within that range. It's like the A-pass is not working or something. Let's just double check. Yes, I'm on bypass. I tried to move out of that range again and see if I could move closer and I actually did hit the plastic which was kind of worrying. You can see my face. I got a bit concerned. I changed it to brake to see if the drone would behave any different with that conduit when I set it to brake. This was me not pushing forward on the control anymore because the brake didn't appear to work that time. I can't go any closer. So I've decided to restart the drone, restart the app and just give it another chance with my fake power line. Let's see if it figures it out, because it seemed to be really good, the APAS. The first couple tests I've been doing, the first few days, it's just struggling with that particular conduit on that cable. So let's see what it does. Okay, just double checking that I'm on bypass. I'm in cine mode. Let's just go around like that. There we go. It jumped. It didn't like the pole. So maybe there was just some weird thing going on earlier. Ah, that's, that's too close for comfort. So I kept moving the drone back and forward, just checking if it would work on normal mode. I then changed it to brake mode again, moved the drone back, and this time it actually worked. So now it should brake when it gets to the obstacle, which it is doing, which begs the question, why didn't it bypass it if it sees it now? Probably a case of having some blind spots on those forward-facing sensors. Soft. So let's go back to bypass. Don't you see that? The next test is tree branches. I need something strong. This is a slack line. Yes. So that should be pretty good. I'm going to hang some tree branches because I want to isolate the tree branch. I don't want an actual tree getting in the way of the APAS system. I want to know if it's just the tree branch. So we're going to hang some tree branches off this and see what the Mavic 3 does. It is detecting. It is. It sees the zip line. Say hello to the people of YouTube. What about if we fly backwards to the tree branch? Will that work? Going backwards, pushing backwards. It is working. It's doing great. That was really impressive. I wonder if it just got hot. Like earlier when I was doing the other test with the power line, maybe it just got too hot overheating problems perhaps it couldn't do the calculations because now look at that beautiful bypassed no problem one more test no it doesn't like the situation that's that bubble So I'm not sure if this thing just got hot. I mentioned that in the last video. Maybe when it gets too hot, obstacle avoidance doesn't work that well, which would really suck if you were flying like three or four kilometers away and then you pressed return to home and the thing was hot and it couldn't make decisions. I'm not sure, DJI might watch this video. Who knows, they might have something to comment, but there might be some blind spots with these sensors. I might have to do a few more tests. 
I'm not sure I would trust the A-Pass. If DJI can probably do a bypass of the A-Pass, it's a nice feature to have, but I don't think this drone is quite there yet. Image quality looks fantastic though. I must say I'm really impressed with it. I'm even impressed with that telephoto lens. Everything else is obviously digital zoom. It looks a little bit soft, but generally you can get some really good image quality. And that seven times zoom, just amazing in my opinion. Obviously it's a four over three sensor, but that's for obstacle avoidance. You can't have a drone that works most of the time when you're relying on technology and the sensors and everything to get you home. It should be 100% of the time that it works and it picks up almost everything and only in free cases maybe it would go down. But it would be much safer if just DJI just allowed us to bypass the A-Pass. So if you do push return to home, it actually comes home, goes up 100 meters and you kind of feel a bit more peace of mind. Maybe it can use the A-Pass combined with the altitude when it returns to home, but I wouldn't trust this new return to home feature just yet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment. What do you think? Are you going to buy one of these things? They cost a lot of money. See you again next time.